Hey, what's going on? This is Mike with Mike's RC Car Review. Um, today we're going to go ahead and make a um, four, well, it's going to be an adapter to be able to take two two cell lipos and put them in series um, so that you can run and, and make it into a four cell. You can either run them in series or parallel. It depends on how you hook them up. And I'll put a, uh, I'll put a picture in this video so you guys can see it, um, how it should be hooked up, and then we'll go from there. Um, so we're gonna hook them in series. That way they will actually get four cell out of it. If you hook them in parallel, you're still only getting two cell. Um, you'll just get a longer run time. So we want more power to run through this T-Max build that we got going on. So you'll just need a couple connectors. Um, as always with my stuff, I run Dean connectors. So that's what I'm gonna use for this is Dean's. Um, but just make sure when you guys do this, you're gonna have to use a soldering iron. Um, everyone's got their own type of preference on a soldering iron I'm gonna go ahead and use my one I've had forever I don't even know what it is it's an it's an old old one so I'm gonna use that one but let me know down in the comments below what you guys what your preference is um, what you like to use um, and also too I'm using this uh, clamp here this is gonna hold my connectors let me know also down in the comments below what you guys use for your I know they have different types of clamps like arms little finger arms that holds it all together. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys use. All right, well, let's get into this. So our first connection here, you want just a regular connector, just like how this is, um, with the uh, negative on the negative side and the positive on this positive side. And then you want another connector right here, the Steens connector that I got. Um, you want to go ahead and, and get that one prepped and ready. I always like to put a little bit of solder on it, um, clean it with some flux, and then put a little bit of solder on it. So whenever you go to do it, uh, the connectors, because this one here's already got a little bit of solder on it and it's been cleaned with flux. So whenever you go to put them on, it's just really quick and easy. You're not sitting there holding it, holding it, holding it, trying to get it to uh, take. So. You want the ground on your on your one side of the battery, the ground to go on the positive side to your other battery. So we'll go ahead and connect that up, and then we'll go from, from the other side of the battery. So you want to go ahead and get a regular battery connector, positive on this side of your Dean's. Well, it depends on what plug you're using, but for me, I'm using a Dean's plug or a T connector. So you want positive on positive and negative on negative. And then whenever you go to solder for your other battery, connector you want negative to go to positive so we'll go ahead and do that now make sure you guys put your um, heat shrink on first otherwise when you solder you have to pull all back apart again and put your heat shrink on believe me I always forget to do that so we'll go ahead and hit that ah. give it a second there you go you got real metallic and then it gets dull looking again and that's when you know when your connectors on so give that a second to cool, and um, then we'll slide the heat shrink over. Yep, that connector is good to go. Yeah, then I'll slide the heat shrink over, and then we'll we'll heat it up and get that to uh, stay over and protect the connector, so nothing grounds out or anything. As the ground goes over here, you take the, this wire and take it and go to the ground side of the ESC. And this is the positive side of the ESC. When you do this, you're hooking them in series, which will give you a, four, a full 4S um, battery. It will take two 2S batteries and turn them into a 4S battery. So that's how you go ahead and do that. So we're going to go ahead and solder this one up so we can go ahead and finish it up. We'll just go ahead and slide some heat shrink over over that so there's no bare connections so I just use a little bit of heat shrink I'll probably use more than you're supposed to but I like to make sure it's all all nice and covered up I don't want any, I don't want any wire showing I don't want to have any issues down the road so the last thing you want is have a, a set of lipo batteries ground out with each other or, or something else on the, on the truck itself Yeah. So the next step now is to take our connections here, 
which goes, these go to our batteries, and then this one's gonna go to our ESC. So I'm gonna go ahead and strip this wire here, and clean it up and put a little bit of solder on it, and then we'll go ahead and put a plug on that. Okay, so now you take what we have here, your ground goes to the ground part of the plug, and your positive goes to the positive part of the plug. So you're gonna go ahead and solder those up the way they're supposed to be, and that's all gonna be it. So we'll go ahead and do this, and then we'll hook it all up, and you guys can see how it goes. And there you go. There is your connector to make a two 2S lipos into a 4S, or you can take um, two 3S lipos and turn them into a 6S, and so on. All right guys, well here's the connector I made. Um, I tested it out and everything, and it does work. So if you guys need a reference point for how to uh, solder it all up, go back to the beginning of the video, and up top here, there was a picture of how to solder it. So hopefully I guys catch you guys next time. Make sure you guys hit the like, subscribe, and hit the bell button so you guys know when new videos are coming out. Um, I have the uh, Desert Eagle Crash It and Bash It. That thing is insane. It's got a lot of torque and a lot of power, especially when you put it, uh, the uh, a lipo battery in it. Um, it was really fun to drive. It's crazy acrobat whenever you're jumping it and stuff. So make sure you guys stay tuned to that and uh, catch you guys next time.